Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and you're with me Mike Spider Slayer and guys we're getting ready to do another comic book review and today we are doing Mark Millar's and John Romita Jr's Kick-Ass 3 issue number 2. I've been waiting for this book for a very long time. Uh, the one problem that goes on with the Kick-Ass series that is that it's a Mark Millar book and it gets delayed all the time. Uh, it's felt like I've read this issue maybe three or four months ago, and that's probably the truth where I read that first issue and we're waiting for the second one to come out. So when it comes out, you're sitting there going, God, I hope it's good and because I'm going to have to wait another three months after uh, the next issue. Uh, as you can see here on the cover, we see a different type of character. Usually on the Kick-Ass books, you always see either Hit Girl or kick ass or both of them together here we get to see this guy who is this guy he's like the head mob boss of the city or whatnot uh, so he's very powerful and it looks like uh, it, you know he'll be featured in the series as the series uh, goes along so interesting cover here so what does this story have to be what does the story have to be about well in the beginning we see that Kick-Ass is basically being held at gunpoint. Uh, we can see that right here. He's being held at gunpoint uh, by some mob kids or whatever it is. And, uh, you know, he's just like, whatever. I've been training. I've been doing this and that. And he freaking kind of starts off pretty good. Starts off kicking some people in the face. You know, starts doing his normal thing. And the one thing that ha that happens to him is he gets kicked in the balls. And he just basically falls on the ground. He gets kicked in the face. And, dude, he's just all totally messed up. But then out of nowhere, this car just comes up. And it has this girl. And this girl in here, her name is Valerie, I think it is. And uh, it's kind of like she's a stalker uh, for some reason. Like, she kind of, like, wants to take him home and... And things like that so I don't know if this could be some kind of love interest uh, for the future in Dave uh, because you know he talks about it with his friend um, in this little burger shop that he that he uh, actually works at and uh, and that was you know that was about it when it comes to really about kick ass there wasn't too much that had to do with him and the one thing that's missed in the, in this issue is his hit girl is missing. In the last issue, she was in there for, you know, at least a page or so. But in this issue, she's not in there at all. So I think she's missed in the series. And the book is not quite as good uh, with her missing from it. Um, next, we get to see um, that uh, Red Mist's mom uh, is kind of a hated person because they all know that, you know, that's his, her son, and how could you raise a person like that? And there's people spitting in her face, and she's not respected. And then we find out in the issue that um, that Red Mist is in the hospital, obviously recovering from all the injuries from the last series, uh, and he's going to get free. Uh, he's not going to get charged with anything uh, because it's been covered up by um, by the mob man. What the, what the heck is that guy's name? I can't even remember his name. Um, he's like a Don or whatever it is. But he covered up everything. He took care of everything. Same with uh, Red Mist's uncle, who's now a captain as well. So he's not going to be charged. So within a week or so when he gets free from the hospital, he's going to wind up, you know, just walking the streets. And um, towards the end of this issue here... Uh, we get to see that Kick at, or I'm sorry, Red Mist's mom is totally ashamed of her son. She can't stand her son for what he's done. She obviously goes and she gets a gun and she's kind of walking into the hospital and she was going to shoot her son. She was going to kill her son. Uh, but then we see a person sitting there wind up strangling him or trying to choke him or uh, suffocate him or whatnot here. And her first reaction is to protect her son and she winds up shooting the guy right in the face here and he's on the ground dead and red mist is just like what the fuck 
and uh, yeah, and then that's it. And then at the end of the at the end of the issue here, uh, you get to see a little preview or the cover of the next issue, and you see this, and I'm like, yeah, that's what it's about right there. Hit girl in prison with the big bad guys with the big convicts. That is pretty awesome right there. Um, so I'm excited for the next issue. Now this issue, however, for me, it was a little flat. It was a little boring. A lot of dialogue, a lot of setup. We got to know him about this Chino V guy, whatever his name is. And, uh, you know, I, I guess it's great character development. It was good to see uh, Red Miss Mom, what she's going through, um, see that what she was willing to do, um, you know, to get rid of her son. But the overall issue was just kind of boring. Like, Kick-Ass was in maybe a few pages, and he got beat up by some thugs. And after waiting three or four months, you're kind of like, that's it? You know, so this kind of fell flat for me. Um, but it looks like it's going to start picking up, I think, starting in the next issue. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to give this one like a three out of five. It was just an average issue. There was nothing that stood out. There was no you know, violence that this book has to offer. I thought the first issue uh, was a lot better than this one. I think I remember I gave it five out of five because there was lots of, uh, you know, at least kick-ass in it where it was telling me where his story went. There was a lot of uh, comic stuff that was brought up in here. And, and here there wasn't as much. And there wasn't nearly as much comedy or anything like that. So he's got some weird girlfriend stalker chick, whatever it was. And now some dead guy on the floor at the end. But nothing that really built the story. Uh, so that's my thoughts. So this one was kind of disappointing. Hopefully it will pick up next issue. So guys, 3 out of 5 from me. And uh, leave your comments below. See if you guys are going to see the kick-ass movie. And uh, until the next comic book review. Guys, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Comic Book Corner 2.0. Take care everyone. Bye.